Hi, welcome to Cannabis Studios. I'm Mick, and uh, we're going to go through a couple of acoustic guitars today and see which is this a, what the difference is with the price ranges and things like that. Um, this is a Martin HD 28V. Uh, we'll just check the price on these. They're sort of around sort of 3,400 mark. I didn't pay that for this. And um, the Sigma DM1, uh, which is about 240 pounds at the moment. So we're going to compare them so you can hear the sound differences and sort of really sort of see it. Is there more than a £3,000 price difference in sound? So I'm just going to do a little bit of playing on the, on the HD 28V. This guitar is it's, it's, it's lovely to play. I love the sound of it. The reason why I bought it. The workmanship is, is it is really good. It just it feels really nice in the hand. Um, it's just it's a lovely guitar. I love, I love it. Um, I'm lucky enough to actually go to the Martin factory uh, a couple of times and did the tour, see how they were all made. So sometimes with, with guitars, I think you, you also you're buying the history. And when guitars are made in somewhere like America or the UK, um, the, the skilled workers that are building these instruments, they, they get a proper wage. So part of that is that you, part of the price, because some will say that it's just the, it's only a piece of wood or things like that. But it's the, it's the skilled workers that you're paying for, in effect. Whereas in the Far East, labour is much cheaper. Not that they're any less skilled. Um, so that's part of the price difference as well. I'm going to swap over now to the Sigma. And let's have a, a little listen to that one. So this is the DM1. And... It's a laminate mahogany back and sides. The HE28V is Indian rosewood. And uh, the guitar feels nice. And action feels good. I'm going to play a little play on this one. And uh, we'll be here. hear the sound difference. Anyway, um, for those of you that want to know, that be a bit of a sound geek like us. We've got a U87 Neumann here. I don't know if you can see it, if it's in the shop. And a Neumann KM184 in the front of a pencil mic. And then we've got two AKG 414s, a matched pair. And we're using the Decker tree today. Um, there's going to be a video at some point soon, explaining different recording things for acoustic guitars, and the Decker tree will come up in there. Okay, so I'm gonna have a little play now on this guitar.
Okay, we've just had a, a listen through to the, the sound recording, and I think both guitars sound great. And one of the things we noticed on the Martin, as you saw, even when you go right up the neck, it maintains that sort of fullness, that punch, the clarity. On the Sigma, it, it, it slightly started to thin off a little bit. Uh, I suppose that could be to do with, uh, you know, different brand of strings. Uh, that, that could be part of it. There, there are a newer set of strings on the Sigma. Uh, but that could be where the, the money is. Just that little, you know, little bit better woods, higher grade woods. Um, the, on the, the bracing, uh, on the Martin, it's forward shifted and scallop bracing which all helps with the tone. So it's those little things that could make, that's, those little things are where the money is really. It's the attention to detail. And, but there's nothing, you can't take any, anything away from the Sigma guitar uh, because price wise, it's an absolute stonking guitar that does a lot of things and some people may prefer the sound of the Sigma over the Martin. And definitely on, on the pocket, there's a, it's, there's a massive difference between these two guitars. So, if you're looking for a, an acoustic guitar, don't think by spending big bucks that you're going to get more of a guitar. The differences aren't going to be massive, um, but there are the differences there. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I've enjoyed actually listening closely to the guitars and thinking about where the bully is and it's, it's a bit of an eye opener. So um, thanks for watching, please like, please subscribe and uh, we'll hopefully, hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you very much, take care, see you next time.
Hi, welcome. <laughs>